I'm Simon Westland of Black Magic Design here on our booth at NAB 2014 and we're showing the new Black Magic Studio camera here at the show. This is going to be available in two models, an HD version which is shipping immediately for $2,000 and we also have a 4K version of this camera at $3,000. Take you through some of the features of this camera. Um, we tried to miniaturize many aspects of the studio camera but at the same time incorporate one really large feature which is a huge 10 inch display. So when you're behind this camera, it really does feel like a studio camera. You're completely immersed in the image. Some of the features on this, it has an active MFT, a micro four thirds mount. And it has tons of connections. So it's got phantom powered XLR audio inputs. It also has jack connections for an aviation grade headset. And I'll talk a little bit more about that in a few seconds. As we turn the camera back around and we look at the other side, we see here that we've got optical fiber in and out, as well as SDI in and out, a reference input, and a professional broadcast four pin power connector. One of the reasons that we have both the SDI and optical fiber in on this camera is that we have two-way communication with it. So we can send tally signals. So for example, I turn that around here, you'll see we've got a red tally light on the front of the camera as well as one on the back. But that two-way communication also includes talkback. So we've got talkback and tally built into the camera. We also can control this camera from the ATEM production switcher software. So we get camera control within our production switcher software, which means you can start to change the iris or the focus. You even get DaVinci primary color correction within that camera control. So we've miniaturized a lot of the aspects of it. We've incorporated a huge 10 inch viewfinder built into the camera and it's available in two models, an HD version at $2,000 and a 4K version that's at $3,000. And we're showing the new Blackmagic Ursa camera. This is a full size professional 4K production camera. You may recall we initially released a 2.5K camera at NAB two years ago. One of the things when we designed that camera is we never expected it to be used in the professional rigs that people put it into, where they were using the rails, the matte box, the follow focus, all of the professional accessories that they did with the camera. We never really anticipated that our first camera would be used in that way. Having learned those things and talked to the customer, we've gone away and we've developed Ursa. Ursa is going to be available in a number of different models. Initially, an EF version that's $6,000 and a PL version that is six and a half thousand dollars. And I'll take you through some of the features of the camera. The camera features three built-in LCDs, the first of which is a huge 10-inch display. So the DOP operating on this side of the camera has a really good monitor as their viewfinder. You'll also see that there's two 5-inch LCDs built into either side of the camera. And this is where you access all of the menus, uh, you can see the scopes, you get all of the displays, all of the control over the camera's functions, because this is a touchscreen LCD. Very familiar to those people that have already seen the Blackmagic Cinema camera. The camera records to dual CFast cards, so when one card is full, it will automatically go and record on the next. And as we move around the camera and look at some of the different things, um, it's designed to be used with professional battery solutions. So you can fit a battery plate for IDX or PAG or Anton Bauer uh, professional camera batteries. We've got a host of video connections here on the back. This is 12 gig SDI. And we've got SDI in and out of the camera. We've got a reference input. We have time code there as well. It's a four pin power connector. And one of the things that we've done with this camera, as I said, we've given access to menus on both sides. One of the reasons for that is, often a camera like this will be used by more than one person. So you may have the director of photography on this side, but then you could also have an audio engineer and a camera assistant working on this side of the camera. And everybody's got access to the same menus and the same controls. So a couple of the other features on here, we've got 
very bright, easy to see LED audio meters. Um, we've also got the phantom powered XLR audio inputs. Um, we've got a further 3 gig SDI uh, video out, so you could, if three displays is not enough, we could put a fourth display or an onset monitor on there for, for HD, and also we've got the four pin power connector for that. And then one of the key features really of Ursa, I'm going to swing it around all this way because we're going to see it a little bit better is that the lens mount and the, center, uh, and the sensor is located in this front turret that's on the camera. And that's connected via four bolts. If you undid those four bolts, then you can detach the sensor and the mount, and you could upgrade the camera to an alternative sensor and mount. So initially, we're gonna supply this camera as EF, and also as PL, but in our future plans, we already have announced that we're going to do a B4 broadcast mount for this camera, and we're also gonna do a version of Versa, which doesn't have a sensor and doesn't have a lens mount. So it'll be a camera without a sensor and a lens mount. We'll have a cheese plate on the front with an HDMI in, so you could put a 5D, you could put a Panasonic camera, you could put any camera that you wanted to use on the front of this, but benefit from all of the professional features that are within this body. The body's been designed to do high frame rates, and dependent upon sensor, we're going to be able to do up to 120 frames per second within Ursa, uh, the Ursa body. So that's the Blackmagic Ursa, available initially as EF for $6,000 and PL for $6,500.